Hey guys, it's Ginger here, and I wanted to make a quick and simple video about how to connect your chords to your melody and make your melody cool. I mean, to make your chords cool. So, before you click away, let's jump into it. Okay, so I have a melody. Dun, 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 dun. And I know that the key of the song that I wanted it to be is dun, because that note feels like home, and I can make a whole other video about stuff like that. So, okay, well, I know that that's a C. And I know that the root note slash one chord is probably going to be C. Like I said, I can make a whole other video about what the fuck I'm talking about. So, now that I know it's in the key of C, I can go through some pretty common chord progressions of the key of C. That's a pretty common chord progression. Another one is. That sounds pretty good. So that's C, E minor, A minor, F. So we have these pretty basic chords, but you're probably wondering. Well, how do I make them sound cooler than this? one you can use a cool strumming pattern so this is the first very basic one very basic way to make a chord progression cool you can mute it right here this is my favorite thing to do is muting put your palm this part of your palm right on the bridge right here not right here and not right here right here and it already sounds cool. Listen to this. So you keep your palm there and you strum. It's still just like a one chord, two chord, three chord, four chord kind of deal. So one way to make the chords feel different is, so let's go into percussion a little bit. So there's one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four every chord is changing on the one c c two three four e minor two three four a minor two three four f two three four so what you can do is you can change where you change chords so for instance let's change on the on the three so I'll show you what I mean, okay. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, and... Wait. Three, four. I don't... I, I'm... I'm not gonna get it exactly perfect. It's somewhere around the three beat. So... I don't know if that makes sense, but it doesn't have to make sense. My only point is that you change your chords at different spots. It just makes it sound really interesting. Like for instance, you can go like... It already sounds really cool. So that's the first way is changing your... Or sorry, that's the second way is changing where you switch beats. So switch chords. Wow. I'm so sorry. So the next thing you can do is slightly change how you're playing the chords. So it's easier to do this if you're not playing bar chords. So for instance, C. How do you make a C sound cooler? Well, you just move this finger off. It already sounds so like emotional. And so now let's play our muted strumming and let's change the chords at different spots with this little change right here, removing this finger.
And for each chord, especially in the key of C, I recommend just writing in one key when you're first getting started because it just makes things so easier. And you can, once you get this one key down, you can do all the same stuff in a different key. So the key of C, your C chord, you can drop this key, I mean this finger, you can put this finger back and then move this finger up a fret. It just sounds cool. And you're probably wondering, well, how do you know where to move your finger? Like, why don't you move your finger here? Well, that doesn't really... That doesn't really sound good. It sounds kind of weird, but it doesn't really sound good. So the way that I do it, I'm very basic. I know which spots on the fretboard are in the key of C. Like, for instance... So you're probably wondering, well, how do you know that? Well, literally, you just go through the key of C. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. That's just learning what notes are in the key of C. And if you can learn that, then you can know where to put your fingers. And it's sort of gives you a lot of freedom. So this video delivering it, I feel like it made no sense, but basically there was three parts. The first part was the palm muting. The second part was changing where you're changing your chords. And then the second part was moving around your fingers in spots that are in the key of C. I hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, then comment below and comment which part didn't make sense and I'll, I'll fix it and make a new video. <laughs> um, and also, I can make a whole video about having a melody dun, 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 and picking the chords for that melody. Because I feel like that should be in a whole another video because it's sort of a separate thing. So, I might just film this whole video again. Okay. I feel like it makes no sense. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I just released my album, and you can check it out below. It was produced by David Barron, who produces for the Lumineers. So, <laughs> it's really good. Anyways... I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be making these videos again. And I just appreciate you guys a lot for being here and watching and absorbing the content. I feel like it nourishes you. <laughs> um, all right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Happy writing. I mean, happy playing.